it day in and day out to get my CPA. I deserve that raise. I put in thousands of dollars to get this license. I should be compensated. Four plus years of college, a year and a half of studying. Run me my money. <laughs> It is Pretty Row, Pretty Row Plans, and I am finally back with another video. So today we will be talking about will you receive a raise after you're officially licensed as a certified public accountant? Yes, will you receive a raise after all of that hard work? So everybody is wondering, will a CPA get you a promotion? First and foremost, a raise is not, and I repeat, is not guaranteed just because you received your license. I know that that's a hard pill to swallow, but it's reality. So first I'm just gonna spit some game in the world of accounting or generally just in corporate itself. So nothing is promised unless it's written in a contract and even a contract can be amended. Raises and promotions are earned. They are not just given. Yes, this means outside of setting your ass off, you still have to be a good employee. The CPA merely demonstrates a minimum baseline of knowledge for the accounting profession. It honestly does not make you an expert in anything and does not entitle you to a raise. It just means you can work as a professional. But here's a little secret for you, unless you're receiving a really good promotion. Don't expect a hefty raise. A hefty raise comes from job changes. Yes, finding a new job with a different company. Every single company is different. It doesn't matter if it's public, private, or government. They are all different. But seriously, here are the deets. Receiving your CPA license can probably get you anywhere from a five to 10% raise. Maybe 15 if you're lucky or hired into a new role at your current job. Now switching jobs, <laughs> now you're looking at about 15 to 25%. How do I know this? I've seen jobs that I've qualified for and baby, they are nice. And if a CPA is not necessarily required, just preferred for that position, I'm pretty sure that they would tack on a pretty little penny f just for that qualification. So if you want to say F the little five to 10% raise, you better stop putting in those job applications. But if you want to stay at your current job, keep watching and maybe these tips will be helpful. So tip number one is to set those expectations early. And when I say early, I mean interview early. Those interview questions of where you see yourself in five years, right now, I think that that is bull crap because for me in five years, I just hope to be alive at this point in the world. But definitely speak on growing within the company. You see yourself in XYZ position within the next five years. Once you land the job, mention those expectations to your manager in the first few meetings that you have because of course, you're going to meet with your manager often because they're probably going to be training you. In those meetings, ask questions like, what is expected of me? How can I further develop my potential? How would you define a successful employee? Let them know that you're looking forward to learning new things. Ask if they have room for growth. If they don't have room for growth, honestly, don't even waste your time because you'll be disappointed when the time comes to finally ask for a promotion. And don't expect to get Susan's position when she finally retires because once she hits that retirement age, she's probably gonna work another five years. <laughs> On to tip number two, just be a bomb ass employee. Show up to work on time. Ask questions if you don't know. Turn in your work on time and if it is going to be delayed, communicate. Communication is like the biggest thing in any career field. Communicate, let them know, hey, I had a lot going on this week. I can't get to X, Y, and Z today, but I'm pretty sure that I can have this turnaround first thing Monday morning. Something. Just communicate before you even hit the deadline. Sorry guys, batteries went dead, 
so they had to charge but i am back so we were talking about tip number two and i believe that i stopped on communicating the number one priority in any type of relationship personal professional any type of relationship period just communicate and also don't be a slacker you can't expect a raise or a promotion when you slack off like that doesn't even make sense yes you bust your ass and you study hard as hell but if you don't show that in your work and your career how do you expect your managers and upper management to trust you make it make sense anyways on to tip number three build those relationships build those relationships have a good working relationship with your manager their manager your co-workers even employees outside of your department in a department that you th never even stepped into honestly all of those relationships they honestly they matter i will say especially if you're working in public accounting because every department is pretty much geared towards account and the department that you're in you don't see yourself in in five years um you meet an employee let's say you're in tax but you meet an employee in audit and audit really interests you build those relationships with those people pick their brains ask how they like their jobs go out to lunch with them let those individuals know that their department is something that you're interested in and depending on your relationship with your manager and that you know they know that you want to move elsewhere you know ask if you can shadow if you could help out in a different department it never hurts to ask the worst thing that can happen is they just say no go find another job i say it like it's easy <laughs> sometimes it can be honestly okay so tip number four is to find a mentor i stress this especially if you are fresh into corporate into accounting into the work field find somebody that has been there a while that knows the ropes who've been where you've been and they moved up continuously find that person ask them to mentor you to get their perspective to get their guidance to help you along the way so that you can grow so that you can be however big as they are it helps when you have somebody who you can ask questions who isn't afraid to give you the real because you know some people hold back but if you found somebody who is real and you know they're gonna be upfront and honest with you keep that person around and you know regardless of if you were to find a new job stay in communications with those types of people because who's to say that one day you want to go back and that's your foot in the door or that person moves on into another job and they're trying to find them another employee they may reach out to you and ask you are you interested that's when communication again comes into play communicate people communicate <laughs> Okay, and tip number five is that those year-end reviews to most companies, they matter. To getting a raise, to getting a promotion, those reviews, they matter. And if you have to complete your self-evaluation, boost boost that shit to the fullest like you're the best employee on earth and they are so grateful to have you and if you were to leave that shit will go down here make your self-evaluation speak speak nothing but great things about you because when it's time for that raise that promotion your manager knows what you do but does their manager know or does their manager manager on because it has to go through a process they read those reviews so talk some good shit about yourself it's gonna help you i promise i promise and what's helpful when writing your reviews is to keep a running list of the things that you do throughout the year so that when it comes to year end to write about these things you're not scrambling trying to think of things off the top of your head these accomplishments that can be big or they can be small you helped barbara recover an excel spreadsheet put it in your review you took time away from your task to help another employee and you were knowledgeable on how to fix the situation and you probably suggested tips to prevent it from happening again 
Bam. One task that probably took five minutes made you probably feel like a superhero because that was a very important spreadsheet. I'm telling you. Make it sound good. And if you don't know how to write to your review, there are people, there are coaches out there. Pay to get help. And my last tip for you all is to take initiative. For my introverts out there, trust me. I'm 100% an introvert and my <laughs> camera's about to go dead again. Um, for the introverts, I know this can be a little bit daunting, but put yourself out there. I still have trouble myself, but I'm learning how to spread my wings. In order to succeed, you have to put yourself in those uncomfortable positions so that you can get those raises, so that you can get those promotions. So of course you have your own goals that you have to reach every year, but then there's also things that pop up in the middle of the year, you know, that's not assigned to anyone. Something comes up, raise your hand. If you have enough room to take on a task that wasn't assigned to you, take initiative hey, I'll lead that project. Volunteer yourself, take on a new task, ask to learn a new skill, take on additional trainings. All of those initiatives just showing, you know, that you want to grow, that you want to learn will put you in that position to get that raise, to get that promotion compared to the people that just want to do their job and go home at the end of the day. So those are my suggestions for you. Once again, these tips will not necessarily land you a raise, but you'll probably have a pretty good possibility once it's presented. How do I know? Because I received that promotion after getting my license and I put some of these items into play. I put myself in the position to do a good job to show my managers and my coworkers that I can do the work and I can do it good. My raise was decent. It was definitely enough to keep me around and to keep me working. I could easily go, you know, somewhere and get 20, 25% pay increase. But I mean, I have a pretty decent job. My boss is phenomenal. Coworkers are cool. I look at it like this. The grass isn't always greener on the other side. I could easily, like I said, I can easily go out here and find a new job and I have more responsibilities, more work to do, more headaches, more stress. You have to pick and choose your battles. And, and who's to say that I'm gonna like my new boss and I'm gonna like my new coworker? You never really know. Uh, so I got, my, I got my CPA license, I got my raise, I got my promotion, and I am still where I started. If you're going out here and you're looking for a new job, weigh those pros and cons if you got nothing at all catch them later <laughs> well because it's happened i've read about it i don't know anybody personally um but i have read the forums where you know they've been at this job five six years they have their cpa license and they're not going anywhere there's no room for them to grow upper management is being selfish i mean but who's to say that they're good employees we just know from what we see online so definitely take these tips into consideration when finding a new job when staying for your cpa do not get your hopes up 100 percent if nothing is in writing that says you're gonna get a 20 percent raise when you pass your cpa exam so those are my tips. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I am going to try to start posting consistently every week. So I will see you guys next week. Deuces.